Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show a couple of ways and how to fix iPhone unavailable problem. Okay, you might have faced the challenge of not being to access your iPhone because right now, your iPhone is unavailable or disabled or locked down, and you're seeing iPhone unavailable on the black lock screen. Why this happens and what you can do next to fix the unavailable screen. Well, stick to the video till the end and in most cases you can actually solve the iPhone unavailable error on your own. Alright, when you get iPhone unavailable message, your device should be running iOS 15.2 or higher iOS version, because in the past, the locked alert should read iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes. We have another video to talk about this and you can click the link on the card at the top right corner of the video. Okay, folks, in iOS 15.2 or later, an iPhone will give you iPhone unavailable message and certain amount of waiting time after you enter too many wrong passcodes. The more incorrect passcodes you input, the longer time you need to wait before you're allowed to try a passcode again. If the failed passcode attempts reach to 12 times, the iPhone is locked down permanently. There's no countdown on the screen, just the iPhone unavailable stuck on the screen forever. The only thing you can take to fix an unavailable iPhone is to factory reset the device and wipe it clean. This means that you will lose all your data on the phone if you haven't had it backed up. That's exactly an awful experience, but on the positive side, you can at least you revive your iPhone and get back into it rather than buying a new iPhone. Hopefully you guys have a backup beforehand so you can restore from the backup. Alright, let's get into the tutorial to fix iPhone unavailable problem. The very first way you can go with is iTunes or Finder. This is a common solution to reset the iPhone and unlock it when you're experiencing iPhone unavailable issue, but make sure iTunes or Finder runs fine, or else the problem may become worse. Okay, guys. The first step is to open iTunes or Finder on your PC or Mac. I'm gonna use a Windows laptop so I launch iTunes. Then connect iPhone to your computer. As you can see guys, the iPhone will not be recognized by iTunes when it gets unavailable. For this case, we need to put the phone into recovery mode. Here I'm gonna show you how to do this for each iPhone model. For iPhone 8 or later, quickly press and release volume up button. Press and quickly release volume down button. Then press and hold the side button. Keep holding on the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, press and hold both volume down button and side button for around 20 seconds. Right after that, you will see the recovery mode screen. Alright, if you're using iPhone 6S, 6S Plus and the first generation of iPhone SE that displays iPhone unavailable on the lock screen, Press and hold down home button and power button at the same time, and until you see the recovery mode screen show up, let go of the buttons. By far, your iPhone gets into recovery mode. Now come back to iTunes or Finder on the computer. As you can see, a dialog box jumps out stating that there's a problem with the iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. So we know that to fix the unavailable lock screen, we have to do a factory reset for the iPhone. So here we click on the restore option. Remember it's not the update option, and if you click the update option, the problem can't be resolved and your iPhone will end up with the iPhone unavailable screen again. Proceed to click update and restore option. Follow the prompts and the reset process will begin. iTunes or Finder is downloading the latest version of iOS on the device. You can check this via the progress bar at the top of the window, and once the download is done, iTunes will restore iPhone to factory settings. As you can see, iPhone is showing the Apple logo and progress bar on its screen meaning that it's resetting. Do not do anything and just wait for a few seconds to let the reset complete. iTunes will also alert you that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings once the whole process is done. Alright, iPhone loads and boots back up. You've bypassed the iPhone unavailable problem. Go through the setup procedure step by step. If you have a backup available, choose to restore from backup to retrieve your data. You will be required to sign in with your Apple ID and password that was on this iPhone to activate all its functions. See, iPhone is now back up and running. If iTunes or Finder doesn't fix your issue and your iPhone is still unavailable, we're going to method number 2 where we're gonna install iPhone Unlocker on the computer. It's developed by AppGeeker and is designed to recover the iPhone that says iPhone unavailable. Security lockout or iPhone is disabled. To get the process to work, the program will reset the iPhone to its factory defaults and erase all data and settings including the passcode and lock screen. So open the software, choose wipe passcode and click start button. Next, 
plug the unavailable iPhone that you want to fix to the computer, and put it into recovery mode. I've explained the steps for each iPhone model to enter recovery mode in the previous method. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, check the device information. Then, hit the start button to download the most situatable firmware for the device. This will take a few minutes. When that's done, you guys will see a dialog box with the warning message that fixing the unavailable error to unlock iPhone requires a factory reset so you'll be lost everything. To confirm this, enter 0000, and then hit the unlock button. All done. Just sit back and wait until your iPhone unlocks with the iPhone unavailable fixed. Okay, folks, we come to method number 3 to use the built-in erase iPhone option. But to get this to work, here are a few things you need to make sure. First, the erase iPhone option should appear on the iPhone unavailable screen with a waiting time of 15 minutes or longer. So make the failed attempts at entering passcode until the unavailable screen says try again in 15 minutes. Second, Find My iPhone feature must be activated in Settings app before the phone becomes unavailable. Third, your iPhone must be connected to a strong cellular data network or Wi-Fi connection. The last one is you need to use your Apple ID password to reset the unavailable iPhone. If you do not remember it, this method doesn't work for you. Alright, now, let go over how to fix iPhone unavailable problem without iTunes or computer. As you can see, the Erase iPhone is at the bottom of the lock screen. So we're gonna tap on it. Then, we're asked to erase all content or settings to reset the iPhone. To proxed, we tap erase iPhone again. After that, enter the Apple ID password to begin the resetting process. Depending on the internet speed, the process will take some time to finish. Just wait your iPhone to load and turns back on. When it loads successfully, the iPhone unavailable screen has been removed. So the problem is resolved. Set up the phone and restore a backup if you have one. You're ready to go, guys. Hopefully this video helps you fix an unavailable iPhone with or without iTunes and get back to use it normally. Like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any question about how to fix iPhone unavailable problem, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.